Okay, the moon does not make werewolves, is what I thought until I read this last comment from this viewer who's a nurse. Moons are popping out, babies. Is my whole life a lie? What about fur babies? I gotta ask Adler. Oh no, no. I have a question, but please. please. For the hundredth time, <laughs> the Adler Planetarium will not put out a statement that says full moons don't make werewolves. Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. This, is, this space, is super important. Please email askadler at adlerplanetarium.com. What? Or, 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 no, not make them, but, you know, pop more of them out. So I'm no medical professional, but I do know about the moon. A full moon is one of the moon phases. A moon phase is what we call uh, how much of the sunlit part of the moon we can see from Earth. Full moon is when the side of the moon that faces us is completely lit by reflected light from the sun. We see the entire side at that so there's, point. So there's nothing special about a full moon? There's nothing special that happens when the moon is full. What about when the Earth is closer in its orbit? Or, I don't know. The moon's orbit around the Earth is not a perfect circle, but the change in distance also doesn't detectably change the force of the moon on you. What about a wolf moon? Just a full moon. A snow moon? Still just a full moon, but in winter. What about a blood moon? Oh, that's a lunar eclipse. That's what happens when the moon passes through the shadow cast by the Earth in space. Uh, but again, shadows don't make werewolves. Does it make babies? Mr. Wolf, I'm an astronomer, not a medical professional. If you want to know about babies, please ask a medical doctor. Goodbye.